Dragon, the world's leading crewed vehicle, continues to carve out its place in history. While Boeing's Starliner remains stuck at the ISS, SpaceX is making 2024 its most active year yet for Dragon missions. To cap off this remarkable year, SpaceX has made an unexpected announcement about an unprecedented crew mission that could significantly impact the future of crewed spaceflight. What's even more impressive is that this mission will achieve something that powerful space giants like NASA and Russia's Roscosmos have not been able to accomplish in the past. So what exactly is this groundbreaking Dragon crew mission? and how will it influence the trajectory of space exploration? Let's dive into these questions in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Before diving into this exciting mission, I need to clarify something from a previous episode. I mentioned that Dragon could potentially launch five crewed missions this year. Unfortunately, the Axiom 4 mission has been delayed to early 2025, which might seem to challenge that prediction. But don't worry, SpaceX has something even bigger planned to replace Axiom 4, and that's what we'll discuss today. On August 12th, SpaceX announced a new crewed mission called Fram 2, named after the Norwegian ship that made pioneering voyages to the North and South Poles between 1893 and and 1912. This private mission will feature four astronauts, and according to SpaceX's announcement on X, Fram 2 will become the first human spaceflight mission to fly over and explore the Earth's polar regions from orbit. The mission has already generated significant buzz. Musk, SpaceX's founder, simply tweeted, this is cool. Jared Isaacman, the commander of the Polaris Dawn mission, another notable private mission involving Dragon, has chimed in saying, This looks like a cool and well thought out mission. I wish the Framonauts the best on this epic exploration adventure. Polaris program, Inspiration 4, Axiom, and now Fram 2 showcase what commercial missions can achieve thanks to SpaceX's reusability and NASA's vision with the commercial crew program. All just small steps towards unlocking the last great frontier. Even the popular space content creator Everyday Astronaut shared that he had a brief conversation with the four Fram 2 astronauts, indicating that this mission is already capturing the imagination of many within the space community. In fact, back in 1986, NASA had plans for a similar mission, using the space shuttle as part of a classified military operation. However, the mission was ultimately canceled following the tragic Space Shuttle Challenger disaster that same year. Afterward, NASA chose not to restart the mission, likely due to the high difficulty involved and complexities of executing such a mission. Additionally, they didn't opt to collaborate with another private company to bring this mission to fruition. Now, decades later, SpaceX is stepping up to complete this task for NASA using their own advanced technology. Are you excited about this mission? If so, please respond yes in the comments section. Then like and share this video, as well as subscribe to the channel to stay updated on SpaceX's ongoing journey. Now let's dive back into the mission details. The four crew members of the Fram 2 mission have been confirmed, and here they are. The mission commander, Chun Wang, is an entrepreneur and adventurer hailing from Malta. Janek Mikkelsen, the vehicle commander, comes from Norway and has experience working in some of the world's most dangerous areas, including the Arctic. Serving as the vehicle pilot, Eric Phillips is an Australian professional explorer who has participated in numerous expeditions to both polar regions. And finally, Rabia Raghi, the mission specialist, is a robotics expert from Germany. Although they are all experts in their respective fields, all four astronauts will be participating in a space mission for the very first time. On X, three of the astronauts, Janek Mikkelsen, Eric Phillips, and Rabia Raghi, have expressed their happiness and excitement about being selected as members, or Framonauts, of this mission. Now, let's get into what you're probably most curious about. What makes this mission so special? According to SpaceX, Fram 2 will be the first human spaceflight mission to explore Earth from a polar orbit and fly over the Earth's polar regions for the very first time. This groundbreaking mission aims to highlight the crew's spirit of exploration, 
bring a sense of wonder and curiosity to the public, and showcase how technology can push the boundaries of Earth's exploration through the mission's research. The plan for this mission is to last between three to five days. During this time, the crew will observe Earth's polar regions from Dragon's Cupula at an altitude of 425 to 450 kilometers above Earth. This altitude is within the same range as the ISS's orbit. However, in this mission, the spacecraft will not dock with the ISS. Instead, it'll spend the entire time flying around the Earth and conducting observations. The chosen altitude will allow SpaceX to gain valuable insights from space physicists and citizen scientists as they study unusual light emissions that resemble auroras. A major highlight of this mission is that the spacecraft will observe Earth from a polar orbital view, specifically with an inclination of about 90 degrees to the equator. This sets a new record compared to many previous flights or systems. For instance, Russia's Vostok 6 spacecraft in 1963 flew at an angle of only 65 degrees, while the space shuttle flew at about 57 degrees. The International Space Station, or ISS, currently observes Earth at an inclination of just 50 51.6 degrees. The FRAM2 website emphasizes this by stating the North and South Poles are invisible to astronauts on the International Space Station as well as to all previous human spaceflight missions except for the Apollo lunar missions. And even then, only from far away. This new flight trajectory will unlock new possibilities for human spaceflight. SpaceX has also outlined specific tasks for this mission, which can be divided into two main parts. First, the crew will study green fragments and mauve ribbons of continuous emissions, comparable to the phenomenon known as Steve, which is short for Strong Thermal Emission Velocity Enhancement, which has been measured at an altitude of approximately 400 to 500 kilometers above Earth's atmosphere. Second, the crew will work with SpaceX to conduct a variety of research aimed at better understanding the effects of spaceflight on the human body. This includes capturing the first human X-ray images in space, utilizing just-in-time training tools, and studying the effects of spaceflight on behavioral health, all of which will contribute to the development of tools necessary to prepare humanity for future long-duration spaceflight. These are all crucial missions that will allow for the study and exploration of the polar regions from an entirely new perspective, potentially unveiling a wealth of new knowledge about these remote areas. The mission's results will provide valuable data for future space exploration, especially for long-duration and distant missions. Regarding the schedule, SpaceX announced that FRAM-2 will launch on a Falcon 9 in Florida later this year, though the exact date and launch pad have not yet been determined. The vehicle for this mission will be the Endurance prototype, which was previously used in the Crew-7 mission as well in Crew-3 and 5. In addition to the unique features we've already discussed, this upcoming mission will further solidify SpaceX and Dragon's dominance in the aerospace industry. If all goes as planned, FRAM-2 will be Dragon's fifth crewed mission of the year, taking the place of the delayed Axiom-4 mission. This will still make 2024 Dragon's most active year since its debut. For context, SpaceX launched two crew missions missions in 2020, then increased that to three missions in 2021, 2022, and 2023. Clearly, Dragon's role is critical to both government and private customers, and its achievements, both past and present, continue to surpass all other competitors in the industry. Overall, FRAM-2 will mark the sixth private mission for SpaceX's Dragon, following Inspiration-4, Axiom-1, Axiom-2, and Axiom-3, as well as Polaris Dawn. If all goes as planned, this will be Dragon's 16th crewed mission, a remarkable feat when compared to other vehicles in the industry. For instance, Starliner, another vehicle in NASA's commercial crew program, took years to launch its first test mission and has yet to make a return. Thanks to these impressive launch achievements, SpaceX has set yet another record. According to the mission description, in the past four years, SpaceX has launched 13 human spaceflight missions, safely flying 50 crew members to and from Earth's orbit, and creating new opportunities for humanity to live, work, and explore what is possible in space. Alongside its crewed missions, SpaceX proudly announced that they have launched 46 missions overall, delivering critical supplies, scientific research, and astronauts 
to the International Space Station while also opening the door for commercial astronauts to explore Earth's orbit. Indeed, with these accomplishments, Dragon's dominance in the space industry seems unbeatable. While Starliner continues to face challenges with its test crew mission, and Dream Chaser, despite its potential, has yet to fly due to launch vehicle issues, Dragon's leadership in the coming years appears certain. But before we look too far ahead, let's celebrate this incredible year of 2024 together. SpaceX is set to launch two more crewed missions before the year's end, Crew 9 and Polaris Dawn. These missions will further establish SpaceX's role on the ISS and demonstrate their capability in executing one of the most challenging space tasks, the spacewalk. And as we approach the end of this remarkable year, we'll be treated to the FRAM-2 mission, offering a fresh perspective on the icy extremes of our planet. With everything in place, the countdown to this momentous event has begun. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.